Now we're going to take a look at bend tables for sheet metal parts. Bend tables allow you to specify the bend allowance or bend deduction values for a sheet metal part. The bend table also contains values for bend radius, bend angle, and part thickness. Now there are two types of bend tables you can use, text files and Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. SolidWorks recommends you use the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet unless you have legacy bend tables from SolidWorks 2000 or earlier. Plus, it's important to note that if you create a bend table as a text file, you will need to provide that bend table text file when you share the sheet metal part file. Whereas, if you create an Excel spreadsheet, it is embedded into the SolidWorks sheet metal part file. While you can create a new bend table by going to Insert, Sheet Metal, Bend Table, New, it is recommended that you rename and edit an existing bend table provided by SolidWorks. To find these existing bend tables, we need to go to the C drive, Program Files, SolidWorks 2014. Now yours may say SolidWorks Corporation, C-O-R-P. SolidWorks, Language, English, and Sheet Metal Bend Tables. Inside of the Sheet Metal Bend Tables folder, we have two subfolders, Bend Allowance, Bend Deduction, and five sample tables. This last one here is a text file. Even though it's a BTL extension, which is renamed by SolidWorks, this is still a text file. So to open it, I am going to double click on this sample text file. And notice, this is nothing more than a regular text file that you can go through and edit and change the values as needed. I am going to go ahead and close out of the file. And before we move on, it's important to note that anytime you modify one of these files, and these are all sample files, that you should make a copy of it before you modify it. That way, you keep the original sample files intact. Now let's take a look at one of the four sample Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. We'll open metric base bend table. Now notice, after opening the file, you'll see the values are not filled in. This is for you to complete. If you want to see a completed table, we'll go ahead and close out of this, go into the bend allowance folder, and notice we have four more sample tables, which these are completed. So I'm going to go ahead and open up table one, bend allowance, and there you go. And in this table here, you can see the values are taken from the Machiner's Handbook, 26th edition. Now that you understand the difference between text files and Microsoft Excel spreadsheets, where to find the files, and how to modify them, let's take a look at how to apply a bend table in our sheet metal part. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this Excel file, close out of this dialog box, and I'm going to go over to my feature manager tree, expand the sheet metal feature, right mouse click on sheet metal one, and edit feature. You'll notice the bend allowance is grayed out. Now why is that? Well, I'm going to go ahead and close out of Sheet Metal 1 feature. And if you recall, I expanded the Sheet Metal feature and edited the Sheet Metal 1 feature. You want to make sure if you have a multi-body Sheet Metal part that you do expand this if you do want to make changes to a specific body. That's not the case here because we do not have a multi-body part. So I'm simply going to go up to Sheet Metal, Edit Feature, and there you have our bend allowance, which is not grayed out. I'm going to click the drop down list and select bend table. I'll then select browse and let's scroll down, expand the sheet metal bend table, select bend allowance and OK. And then I'm going to come back to the drop down list here and select table one bend allowance. And all I need to do is simply close out of here. And that bend table that we just selected is now applied to the sheet metal part. Let's go back and edit the sheet metal feature and look at other type of bend allowances. The next one is K-factor. K-factor is a ratio that represents the location of the neutral sheet with respect to the thickness of the sheet metal part. When you select K-factor as the bend allowance, you can specify a K-factor bend table. SolidWorks also comes with a K-factor bend table in a Microsoft Excel format in the same directory we were just in. 
and you can see a K factor bend table as a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. The next two bend allowance options are bend allowance and bend deduction. Both of these allow you to input your own values to determine the flat length of sheet metal part to give you the desired dimensions of the bent part. These two options are generally used by individuals experienced in sheet metal design. The last option is bend calculation, where you calculate the developed length of a sheet metal part using bend calculation tables, which define different angular ranges, assign equations to those ranges, and calculate the developed length of the part. This is another option that is used by individuals experienced in sheet metal design. In closing, unless you are well versed in sheet metal bend allowances, you will find that you use bend table or K factor over the other three options. If you would like to learn more about these different bend allowances, keep in mind that SolidWorks has a great help feature and there's a lot of information regarding bend allowances. And this will conclude our lesson on bend allowance and bend tables.